All right, uh, so this is a suggestion. The name of the song is The White Sin by the artist Mises. Uh, if you're new here, like and subscribe. The more you like this content, the more I know you want to see more of this specific content, okay? Uh, let's jump into this immediately. One of the most disturbing things over the past few days, I think, has been the treatment of whiteness as some kind of moral disease. Yeah. You know, uh, apparently all white people are racist. racist. I'm sorry George Floyd got killed. I okay. kneel, but I don't feel white guilt. That's real. I don't, this is what I don't understand a little bit, but why would he feel guilty for something he didn't do? Again, he didn't do it. <laughs> it's, it's weird shit. Let's get but it. I don't feel white guilt. That's real. Had guns in my face a bunch. By cops. Had my okay. face slammed off my trunk. By cops. Piece of shit coming every race. Agree, agree. Um, even though there's there's literally one race, it's human. We're, um, but but I understand what he means. He's talking about the ethnicities, basically. Um, but yeah, like uh, yeah, there are terrible there are terrible people in every culture of people, for sure. Um, Bunch by cops had my face slammed off my trunk by cops. I can literally tell you that has never happened to me. Um, so. Dude, I, I'm sorry this is happening to you, sir. Piece of shit coming every race. Okay. That's back. Some work for the fucking state. And where bad doesn't yep. matter where you come from. Black hood. Yo, this shit affecting everyone. Backwoods. I'm not sorry I was born white. You act like it was my choice. You cannot control how you were born. Like, that's not even a thing. So I, I really honestly and truthfully hope that people are legitimately not blaming people for like circumstances that they cannot control. Do you understand? Like you cannot help where you were born. You can also not help <laughs> what you look like when you were born. So yeah, it's ridiculous. Let's get it. Affecting everyone. Backwards. I'm not sorry I was born white. You act like it was my choice. You act like it was my need and suffocated George Floyd. You act like I don't give a shit. You act like I did this shit. You act like I think that all black folks are ignorant. I refuse to. Uh, from the songs that I've heard, you don't seem like, you don't seem to be that type of person. So I didn't perceive that in the first place of you, sir. Um, so. Yeah, dude. I'm not ignorant, though. Let's get it. <laughs> God did this shit. You act like God think that all black folks are ignorant. I refuse to be labeled as the same across the table. Baby, rapping, shedding all the way to Cain and Abel. Lying, Karen in the park, and I ain't Derek Chauvin. I'm not Karen in the park. I feel you. That shit in Central Park? Yo, dude. That was ridiculous, bro. All right. That shit didn't make any sense, okay? Using a system. Using a broken system to, to basically... Target someone? Come on, dude. Let's get it. In an able lying, carrying in the park, and I ain't Derek Chauvin. I ain't nothing like those motherfuckers. Skin's the only thing we have in common. I'm a phone watching George dying. Swear to God, if I was there, I would've rushed the cops who died trying. Exactly. Exactly, bro. There. Listen, the situation, bro. Yo, that shit. Yo, that video was crazy. Okay. Um, and I think, uh, personally, I would have done the same. I wouldn't have allowed that shit to happen. I wouldn't pull my phone out and recorded it. But unfortunately, if it wasn't recorded, then, you know, it, it would have been the same shit that always happens anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but also at the same time, I'm not like going to specifically blame like the people that were there because, dude, <laughs> you generally don't want to just attack a cop. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I get it. It's kind of both sides there. Um, personally, I would have just done it, dude. Honestly, it is what it is. I'm not gonna just let you kill someone in front of me. Let's get it. Would have rushed the cops who died trying, and I ain't saying it's the fault of people that it didn't. Huh? <laughs> exactly. Let's get it. Wait a second. Are you and I also kindred spirits, sir? Let's get it. Ain't it's the fault of people that it didn't. I'm just saying, and I ain't sitting back. White or black, bar pigment. Victim is a victim, and so you don't get me wrong. The only ones that in the wrong had the badges and pistols on along yeah. on the same thought process if, if i'm being honest why am i supposed to feel guilty for shit that i ain't involved with i ain't never been to
Klan rallies, neither has my granddaddy. Ex girl is black, almost had a black granddaddy. When I get a tan, I look mucho Mexican. Think I never been. No problemos, better guess again. Guess we back to. I feel you, bro. Think he's done it. But see, the thing about it is when I, I'm almost a thousand percent positive when people are referring to to like um, the concept of, of being privileged by a certain skin tone, every single person has a privilege on this planet to deny it is uh, intellectually dishonest. Um, women have privileges. Men have privileges. OK, Americans have privileges. Chinese have privileges. <laughs> right. It's it's all based on situations. And and generally, these privileges have nothing at all to do if you you are within the machine, right? And you have no money. The money has nothing to do with the concept of privilege, literally, right? So everyone has their privilege, right? Literally. Um, like my skin tone is dark, okay? So a other person that looks just like me in America may have a completely different privilege than I, or I may have a different privilege than they, right? I listen to a lot of these songs, right, um, um, from like, um, I don't know if he's considered country rap, but like from like country rap artists. And a lot of them seem to think that they, when they when they refer to like people that look like me, sometimes they reference a, a section of society that I have no experience with. Right. And so then I, I, I then have to try to look at it like, wait a second, I don't really understand <laughs> what you're talking about, but. I understand the stereotype of it. You get what I mean? So like, um, dude, everyone has their privileges. Long story short. So, and a lot of the times it's not about money. So that's it. Basically women have privileges over men often sometimes, you know what I mean? So calm down. <laughs> Let's get it. So Mexican, think I never been. No problemos, better guess again. Yeah, like I, there's there's no doubt in my mind that he has gone through shit in his life. There's no doubt. Everyone has. Every single person in this world has gone through something in their life. Everyone. So let's get it. Guess we back to guess again because of this mess we in. Even though I never been one to hate because of skin. Fuck it. Paint us all with the same brush. Don't blame the bad apples. Blame the whole bunch. Yeah, because this is the thing. The people who scream like people are racist generally disregard the things... <laughs> that that people that look like them at times are doing also you get what i'm saying so like keep that in mind when people are like trying to paint someone with the whole brush because um there's there was a whole there's a whole society in uh, there's generally uh, kind of like a whole society in america that gets painted by the exact same brush so dude <laughs> let's go don't blame the bad apples blame the whole bunch don't blame a couple of people that are terrible. See, everyone needs to stop the concept of stereotyping. I think that's kind of what that how that works. If we were to basically figure out a way to negate uh, stereotyping people by the color of their skin, America would succeed tomorrow. OK, literally, because a lot of the issues is in America is just purely based on that. So like certain groups of people don't like other groups of people because of something that didn't happen to them right and then the then another group of people doesn't like us another group of people because they've never been around the group of people or if they have they've been around terrible people you see what i'm saying and then they paint the whole brush so keep that in mind stereotyping is is like on a massive level ridiculous okay <laughs> it's ridiculous i stand in the middle and look at the shenanigans okay like bro stop this shit okay listen i'm giving you an example okay I literally no longer live in America. I've been out of America for roughly five years and I can literally tell you this does not exist at the same level outside of America. <laughs> so, bro. Yeah. And Mike's and me being able to experience a completely different existence is making me now look at home like. What are we doing, bro? We are wasting our time. You understand? We are wasting our time on a level that is ridiculous when it comes to stereotyping <laughs> and racial bullshit. We are wasting our time and energy and effort because there is so much more in common that you realize you'll never realize this. At, at least someone in I'm trying to think of, uh, I don't know, the middle of Philadelphia, right? 
has so much in common with someone from uh, the middle of, uh, I don't know, Kentucky somewhere. I don't know. I've, I've never really been in a country <laughs> existence before, so I can't give you places. But like there's but I but I've encountered them within my travels around the world. I meet people that are from America that are from like these small towns in like the Midwest and the South. Right. And dude, we have so much in common. It's ridiculous. OK, but it takes us having to escape the environment or the machine of America to understand that there's we have so much in common that is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Step outside of your bubble. You will be surprised that you're the level of acceptance you get. Literally. Step outside of that shit. It's a waste of time, people. All right. You blaming this man for what? <laughs> Why are you blaming him? What did he do? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Let's get it. Don't blame the bad apples, blame the whole bunch. Oh, I feel like Sunny, this ruined my whole lunch. Oh, Sick to my stomach, God, I don't know who to trust. One channel says this, one channel says that. One says he ain't resist, one says he fought back. Yo, I thought that. What if we had roles reversed and I was in a hearse? I wonder how many cities would have burned. None. You know that. You literally know that. There's a there's there's a narrative that needs to be pushed in America. That's it. There's a there's a complete narrative that needs to be pushed. So uh it's unfortunate, but you pointed it out because you already knew the answer, sir. Alright, let's get it. And I was in a hearse. I wonder how many cities would have burned. When will we learn? God, I know you coming. Take a soul to that paradise and don't see color. Just my brother, just my sister, just my family. Just one nation under God, just humanity. It's God's planet, man. We need to get our shit together. Cause God planned for people to live free and peace together forever. So rest in peace, George Floyd. You deserve justice. Along with everyone who died from racist motherfuckers. And cause of that, you best believe I'll take a knee to show respect. But if you ain't All right, bro. Literally. Yo, I, yeah, me personally, I don't think that you specifically have guilt. You know what I mean? <laughs> dude. Anyhow, dudes, um, this is an amazing song, obviously. Uh, another great conversation. I love conversations. Um, if we the, the faster we can get a conversation going um, within America, the quicker we can solve this uh ridiculousness literally okay um listen another amazing uh addition to his catalog let me know in the comments the next song i should listen to from him and i will get to it as soon as i possibly can okay uh you guys have an amazing day we're just gonna go ahead and let this ride out all right no i'm not guilty guilty all right Enjoy your day.